Mark Yates at the Skill Show 2012 last year. I won the gold medal in the Skill Auto Auto Tech competition. Uh, uh, so I'm here to talk to you about my journey all the way from high school to basically doing this talk to you. Uh, I'll highlight a few of the key points that uh, in my life that have helped me become successful in my chosen career and also talk you through my experience at the skill show last year uh, and how it's helped me to progress into um, a career within racing and also within the Honda dealership where I work. Uh, so as you may have picked up from this slide, uh, I work in a uh, Honda dealership, main dealership in stoke on Trent. Uh, as a vehicle technician, full time, uh, Monday to Friday. Uh, I've worked for Honda for just over four years now. First three years were spent on a apprentice vehicle technician program. However, I did not start at Honda until I was 23 years old. Uh, you may think this is quite old to be starting an apprenticeship, and you would be correct. Most young people starting on an apprenticeship program would typically be aged between 16 and 20. So I took a slightly different route into the industry than a lot of people do, but it has worked out for me in the end. So as you can see up on the screen, it did take me a few years to settle into a career and find out exactly what it was that I wanted to do uh, as a job. Uh, there was in fact seven years between leaving high school and uh, starting my apprenticeship at Honda in 2009. For the first four years of this time, I uh, attended a local college, completed a national uh, diploma in electronic engineering, and then I went on to a higher national diploma, also in electronic engineering. Uh, although I did really enjoy the courses, by the end of them I decided it wasn't really what I wanted to do. I didn't want to work with electronics for a job, but it did give me um, a very good start into automotive, there's a lot of electronics involved. So by the time I left college, I was 20 years old, uh, and I'd begun to develop an interest in cars. I therefore continued into university uh, and started on an automotive design course. I quickly found that this wasn't for me. Uh, there was too much classroom, computer-based work. I wanted to get hands-on, get a little bit dirty, um, find out how things worked, bit of, you know, just get involved in, in more uh, mechanical side of things. So for this reason, I did only complete one year at uni before I dropped out, deciding to find uh, a different way into work. Uh, I spent two years then um, doing different jobs, part-time jobs, full-time jobs, trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do. I decided that I did want to get into a workshop environment, but uh, because I was a little bit older, it was difficult getting the opportunity that I needed as I had no previous training. Uh, but in summer 2009, uh, I got the opportunity to apply for an apprenticeship at Honda uh, and I was lucky enough that they took me on. So I will come back to Honda later on, uh, but it's through their apprenticeship program that I got involved in the skills show, um, starting in 2009 actually in the UK skills competitions. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit more about that, then we'll come back to Honda. So this sort of highlights my route into the Skill Show Live Final in 2012 last year. All started in March, where I sat the online test. Um, that is a questionnaire comprised of 40 questions based on automotive general knowledge about everything you can imagine to do with cars. Uh, it's available to anybody working in the automotive sector who has less than three years professional experience. I was encouraged to complete this along with my uh, classmates uh, during my training with Honda. The top 20 scores from everyone who completed the questionnaire were invited to take part in the live heat shown there in June 2012. Uh, several live heats held around the country um, and the one that I took part in was held at an automotive college in Nottingham. The following month I learned that I had scored one of the top six scores uh, nationwide out of the 20 that took part in the heats. This meant that I will be competing at the live final held at the Skills Show last year here at the NEC. 
and that was November 2012, this time last year. The competition at the live final followed the same format as each of the heats. There were six tasks, the same as it's set up this year. Uh, each had a time limit of one and a half hours. Each task focused on a particular system found on a modern vehicle. These were suspension brakes, transmission, engine mechanical, engine electrical, and body electrical. And then the competitor with the highest score over the six tasks will be awarded the Auto Tech Gold Medal. Uh, when I first arrived at the competition last year, it was on a Wednesday evening, uh, I felt, I did feel quite confident. Uh, I'd done a little bit of training beforehand and I was, uh, yeah, I was quite confident. Uh, however, it soon disappeared when I first met the other competitors. They were all of very high quality technicians, really knew what they were talking about. Um, big difference to some of the lads that were involved in the heats. It was, it was one, one step above that. Uh, I realised there was no room for error if I was going to have a chance of winning the competition. This is a picture taken last year over in the same sort of area, taking part in the engine mechanical task, taking some measurements from the engine. This was one of my favourite tasks last year. I did score quite well on this one. Uh, however, some of the tasks, I was not sure how well I'd done. Uh, which made the waiting through the Saturday, which was sort of this period last year, very nervous time. So just before we get through to the rest of the skill auto competition last year, I'd just like to highlight some of the training that I have received from Honda. Uh, I believe that I've been very lucky to be working for Honda as their attitude towards the training of the technicians is really good. Um, just prior to the competition last year, I received three days training with one of Honda's technical trainers. Uh, that was on a one-to-one -one basis. Uh, this really boosted my confidence, definitely helped me to to perform better during the competition. After the competition, uh, after speaking to some of the other competitors, I know they did not all receive such support from their employers. Um, I suppose this is a testament to them for reaching such a high level without the additional training. But in my case, um, I was very lucky with what I received from Honda and it really did help me to perform better. It's a nice picture though. So the task that I talked about earlier took part on the Thursday and the Friday of the skill show. The results were to be, re to be revealed at the closing ceremony on the Saturday evening. This left the Saturday morning and afternoon free to put on something that would help us to get the public interested in our area of the show and also to inspire some of the young people in attendance. Uh, the organisers of our competition did an excellent job in getting the McLaren Formula 1 team involved in the skill show. They hosted a pit stop challenge competition using one of Jensen Button's Formula One cars. And this involved teams of competitors and judges taking part um, in a competition to change the front tires of the car as quickly as possible. It started off as a bit of a crowd please and a light hearted competition. However, it quickly became quite competitive, just like the skill auto competition itself. Uh, justice was done in the end with myself and the other auto tech finalists achieving the fastest time. The Saturday evening consisted of an award ceremony. Uh, all of the winners were announced for each of the competitions that took part uh, across the whole of the skill show for all the different um, industries that are here. Uh, after an extremely nervous wait, I was very relieved when my name was read out. All of the training and preparation had been worthwhile as it dawned on me that I won the competition. I went up to the stage and collected the gold medal. I was then taken to a backstage area where this photo was taken. Uh, as part of the partnership with the McLaren F1 team, I was able to attend their technology center for a guided tour. That was myself um, as the winner of the auto tech competition. They also do a paint competition and a panel competition, which is body repair. So the three lads that have won the competitions were taken down there a whole day around the technology centre, around the factory. Um, really was a once in a lifetime opportunity. Very grateful for that experience. It's not somewhere you can get into easily to look around.
So with the help of the gold medal I achieved at the Skill Show in January 2013, I was successful in getting a job with the Pertec Racing British Touring Car Team. Uh, I now work as the second mechanic, sorry, the second mechanic on Andy Jordan's car during the race weekends. This involves getting the car ready for racing and making any setup changes, carrying out pit stops, and as the racing can be a little rough in the touring cars, fixing any damage or problems that we've got after the races. To get a chance to be involved with the race team at this level is not easy, but having the gold medal from the skill show helped me stand out from the other mechanics who were um, interested in taking the job on, and I'm very grateful for the team for giving me the job. As a team, we enjoyed great success uh, this season in 2013, um, which finished at Brands Hatch in October, and Andy Jordan was crowned the Drivers' Championship. We have beaten much larger teams with much larger budgets to the title, and intend to have a good crack at successfully defending the title next year. That was the first um, Drivers' Championship for that team. As I said earlier, I just want to go back to Honda and show what their apprenticeship consists of. I really believe that an apprenticeship is the best way to get into this industry. It allows you to learn the practical skills in a working garage, working on real cars with real problems, rather than things that are set up generally on older cars within a college environment. Um, the Honda apprenticeship program is well known in the industry as being one of the best. But all vehicle manufacturers now recognise that well-trained young people do tend to make the best technicians. For this reason, many are investing huge sums of money into their training facilities, and this will benefit young people starting off in the industry for years to come. So for people trying to get into the industry, apprenticeships are a really good way of getting, getting involved and getting straight into the workshops. So just because I have now completed my apprenticeship does not mean the end of my training and development. Uh, Honda have several levels of technician. Each requires additional training and assessment. I'm currently undertaking training for the second level uh, and hope to reach the top level in the not too distant future, maybe a couple of years. I also intend to continue gaining experience in motorsport. I really enjoy the work at the race meeting, so this may be something that I look at in the future for full-time employment. I would like to continue to be involved with the auto tech competition in whichever way I can. I think it's very important to provide an example to young people to show that with your own hard work and commitment, sorry, and commitment, there are people here to help you achieve within the industry. And with this, you can go on to work at the highest level and to work on some pretty cool stuff. In order to help to get to the highest level, I've found that the best approach is to fully commit to what you are doing. Take every opportunity you have to better yourself and to gain more experience, as it will help you in the future. So that is about it for me. If anyone's got any questions, you can put me on the spot. I'll try my best. Um, if not, I will be available over in the automotive technician side later on. Any questions? Right, thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.